Listen, Mr. Who's the Boss. Just started following Mr. Who's the Boss. And eating an apple. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> What up, what up, what up, what up? YouTube, it's your boy, G-R-A-J-S-N-O. And I'm laying on the couch because the guys are here to take a look at my roof. We're going to get solar panels soon. So, I was a little hungry. Got some fast food. <laughs> it was real fast. I picked it up and I said, mmm. Food, baby. So, many of you know that I'm in the process of trying to figure out, you know, my eating. I don't want to classify it as vegan because then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that comes along with it. Animal compassion and, you know, caring about a bunch of other stuff that I really don't care about. Now... That's not to say that animal suffer. I agree with animal suffering. I don't agree with it. It's fucked up. You know, you see like a, a a baby being ripped away from his mom just so that I could have some milk. That's pretty fucked up. Um, but I heard a story the other day uh, where a guy called the um, animal, uh, what's it called? It? Uh, the, the animal protection people. And uh, he he helped a bird that, you know, was bleeding. And, um, you know, he uh, they, supposedly they gave him, you know, a check. So me, I, I just, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I would have went out of my way to help protect the animals in that in that manner. I don't know the, the animal. What, I, I, what, what the hell is the thing called? I don't even know what it's called. But I don't know their number. So, you know, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, do what he did. So my thing is, um, I care enough about animals. Like I'm not going to go out and hunt down animals, but if I'm, if I feel like I'm being threatened, I'm going to defend myself. Like, let's say a dog is chasing me and he's barking at me and snarling. I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to kick that, kick him right in his teeth. Uh, I'm not going to be like, Oh, Mr. Doggy, what's wrong? Are you upset? Are you hungry? And he wanted to bite me in the ass. That's just crazy. Um, you know, like uh, when I go to customers' houses and they dogs and cats be rubbing up against me, I, I push them aside like, yo, man, get out of here. I'm trying to work. I'm not an animal person. But at the same time, I don't believe in, you know, needless suffering. So uh, am I vegan? No. Um, like my work boots are leather. My belt is leather. Uh, I like Timberland boots. I know that like there's a lot of controversy about it. With, uh, you know, the tree and the hanging and, and the leather and the suede and the animals. But until we get a vegan one, you know, in a size 15, then, you know, what else am I supposed to do? Uh, on the, the same hand, until we get some more vegan restaurants, like, what else am I supposed to do? If I'm out working, yeah, I'm going to, if there's a vegan option and a uh, non-vegan option, I'm going to go for the vegan option. But. If there's no option, what am I going to do? I mean, apples only get you so far. And then uh, if you eat them, you know, too much, then you get gassy. And, you know, I start farting real bad. And I can't be in people's houses farting all crazy. But, you know, that's just me. So somebody asked me, well, what do you call it? Like, I went over to my brother-in-law's house the other day. And uh, everything either had cheese, uh, milk. Or egg or or something. It, it was not. There was no vegan option at his house, so I'm not going to just sit there and be like, "Oh well, you guys are out here cooking these ribs. They smell good. You know, they probably taste good." Yeah, I'm not, I'm not eat it. You know what I mean? Like, so if there is no option, you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a chow down, man. Uh, so he said, well, what, "What kind of diet is that called? It's called I eat. What I want to eat diet. Excuse my English, but." It, you know, it is what it is. We can't, until there are enough vegan options, you know, out there, you know, for me to try to slow down my life or not live life, you know, it, it just is, it's a little silly, 
you know. Do I want there to be more vegan options? Of course, you know. Um, if I go to somebody's house and uh, they are making ribs, you know, I don't really like sausage because that's kind of greasy, but I love ribs. Ribs and steak are my two favorite pieces of meat. Chicken, you know, I don't really care about. Um, ribs and steak, I love it, man. So my brother-in-law's house, they had ribs and sausage. And, well, I had, I had to have some ribs. I mean, it was good. You know, it smelled good, tastes good. Your mouth is watering just thinking about it, you know? Sometimes you want something a little bit more savory and not so sweet. Sometimes fruits and vegetables, while they're good, they could just be, I don't know, it tastes too good. You know, like, well, I'm sorry, it tastes too healthy. Sometimes you want something that's going to make you feel like that was fattening, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I try to, uh, you know, go mostly plant-based. At the house, we don't buy any meat. We have no meat products. Um, my wife may do some dairy stuff with the, the coffee and the uh, Cheez-Its. Um, and uh, cheese slices, because cheese slices taste terrible. I haven't found a good, you know, sliced cheese that's affordable. You know, for my daughters, like, um, I, they'll make, they might make sandwiches. I haven't found anything that, that is any good. So, but, you know, I would like to be vegan. I, I really would. My problem is, nothing is vegan. I mean, to find vegan alternatives, I feel like I'm, I'm looking for, you know, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm looking for the, the, the fountain of youth. If it was up to me, I would be vegan all the time. No question. But sometimes it's not up to me. Sometimes vegan food is expensive. You know, if I want some mock meat. Cause I, because it's some it's, it's the weather's warming up, yo. That's what I want, man. You know, I ain't heard about no mock ribs, no mock steak. Now, at Fridays, yo, you get that uh, that burger. Ooh, boy, the Beyond Burger. I heard White Castle got the Impossible Burger, Impossible Sliders, or whatever. I don't know where the White Castle is around here, but yo, I need to get up on that. Anyway, this is your boy G R A J S M. Oh, and I'm at.